down this music called my spirit Tryna knock me down, can't knock it till you hear it Everyone dripping and jugging and trapping, etc. All from the H when niggas get eight. You thought we ain't having these weapons, huh? Too many snakes, it's too much at stake, so I had to sharpen and cut it up. Them niggas hate, we get to the cake. I swear that they wish they was one of us. I'm on that paper route. If you hold it down, then you know that. Yo, what it do? It's Rashad the Nomad here. I'm everywhere you want to be, and this is the Common Interest Podcast. Thanks for tuning in. I don't have my laptop today. Forget about it. Fuck you if you say anything about it. But we are here with, we got Gage, got Wise, and Baby, Baby Lane? Yes. Baby Lane. Baby Lane. Yes, sir. We all here today. And uh, I'm going to let Gage tell you why we, um he's back again. Yo, yo, yo. What's up, family? Yo, so we're back, man. Um, we have a lot of projects coming up. And, you know, last interview, it really felt like it was kind of rushed. Um, not even that it was rushed, but, you know, we kind of feel like family here, so. You know, we just kind of got a little bit carried away with the shits, you know. Most definitely. Um, and our hour, <laughs> our hour ran away uh, really fast. Yeah. <laughs> so we're just kind of back to talk about a couple of projects that we have going on and just kind of um, sum everything up, you know. For sure, for sure. Okay, cool. So um, who wants to go first when you, when you want to start it with, man? For sure. I'll introduce the gang, you know. For okay, for sure. Part. Let's do that. So we got my boy, Wise Visuals. It's you me. Know. <laughs> the man behind the camera, the man with the plan. Yes, sir. The wizard. The wizard. The right. wizard. I like yeah. that. I like that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Then we got the OG, Baby Lane, right here. Yes, sir. Big Baby Lane, man. If you don't know, you should know. Like, mad humble, crazy talented artist. Actually is talented, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, a lot of people don't have talent, but <laughs> my man right here actually, you know, is a humble, talented guy, you know, which I can personally respect, you know. It's love. But most deaf, most deaf. Okay, that's what's up, that's what's up. So, um, we already hit y'all with a rewind. Y'all told us well about yourself, so I'm gonna ask Baby Lane. So here at the comment entry, we start things off. We ask you to hit us with a rewind and so you tell us a little bit about yourself, how you got involved in music and how you got here today. For sure, man. Yeah, uh born and raised here in Houston, Texas. Uh I've been I've been rapping since I was little, man, since I was like 13, 14 years old, okay. uh, actually started rapping with a group of people, uh, and now I am, you know, I'm here today, you know, still still doing my thing. Um, I got a lot of I got a lot of upcoming projects uh, in the works, uh, music videos and stuff like that. Um, movies, movies for real. Movies. movies. My boy Wise is like I said, he's a wizard. Um, <laughs> right. Oh damn! We shout out wise. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, and um, also you know a lot, a lot of features and stuff as well. Okay. Um, coming, coming real soon. Uh, but yeah, I've been rapping since I was young. Uh, me and my cousin really, uh, really started putting our foot in the game when we were early. Mm. Um, you know, but you know, over the course of the years. It it hasn't been as consistent, you know, as I would want it to be. You know, life happens. Of you course. know what I'm saying? Things like that. And uh, uh, music wasn't always. I wasn't always fully, you know, dedicated to it mm-hmm. as much as I as I am now. I'm I'm back and I'm better than ever. You know what I'm saying? 2020, mm-hmm. going into 2021, it's gonna be different. Okay. Definitely. Okay. I like For that sure. energy, man. Fucks right. with it. Fucks with it. For sure. Okay. So. Uh, I guess tell the people like how do y'all, like all of y'all linked up then. Damn, bro. So this is kind of like I don't know. It's kind of been going on for a while. Um, right, okay. Bro, right here is like this is like family. That's you know, so like nice. like a family. That, that's yeah. all I can say. Like, I feel it. Me and his cousin that he's talking about. That's like that's like my brother. You know. For oh, for real? Part. Okay. Like, yeah, hey. yeah, we've been rocking since middle school. You that's know? dope. That's dope. So mm-hmm. just automatically, you know, we got to love for each other's family. So. Mm-hmm. It just, you know, and Thanks. then my boy right here, you know, just talent recognizes talent, you know, Thanks. and it's kind of hard to avoid talent. Um, I had a studio about a while, a couple of months ago, and we just were working together and shit, mm-hmm. just really seeing the potential in one another, and just kind of went went from there, you know, and it just so happened that, you know, his, um, his girlfriend is kind of somebody I went to 
high school and middle school with. Oh, work. You know, so it's just small like. Small world, man. Bruh, it's hella small <laughs> world. Yeah. It's small world, you know. And there's a, just a lot of talent here in the city. Mm-hmm. And so it's kind of cool to, when you see things like this where people know each other, you know, it kind of just reminds reminds you how close you are and how everything just goes full circle, you know. Oh, yeah, most mm-hmm. definitely, most yeah. definitely. Yeah, that's, uh, what does that say, the, the six degree radius thing or whatever from, right. like, knowing somebody that knows somebody kind of shit, whatever. Mm-hmm. But, okay, that's dope, that's dope. All right. So, so y'all all just got stuff just in a tuck ready to drop, basically. Oh, yeah, we got, basically. We got bombs. Yeah. Okay, okay, bombs. yeah, it's nice rollout. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so let's talk about that real quick because I feel like that's one thing I feel like um a lot of just – creators and just artists have a hard time with is getting a good rollout going um so what do y'all feel like is the difference between for y'all and why i guess how y'all became so prepared and like and then y'all can also just talk about the the stuff y'all are planning on rolling out with as well okay okay when y'all want to go or i i could go but you know you go ahead i'm thinking (laughs) best thinking but um you know for me shit it's just trial and error, bro. There was a lot of like money spent, mm-hmm. you know. Um, Facts. Just that's really what it is. Like you can only, you can only put talent so far before, you know, money money get gets wasted. You know, eventually, mm-hmm. if you're really becoming talented, you know, you you're gonna have to practice. You right. Know? So, I definitely feel like shit. We we've, we've all been necessarily practicing and just learning. Learning the industry and learning what we necessarily need to do through trial and error, you know. For sure, perfecting perfect. that craft. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. That's dope. That's dope. All right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So. Oh, you go ahead, Wise. Yeah, I can. Um, yeah, it's definitely been a process, like, um, cause just getting started. Like I say, like even on the last uh, episode, we was talking about how we just we just kind of just got started doing even with the cooking stuff just out of nowhere. Like mm-hmm. that wasn't like necessarily the plan, mm-hmm. but just being around creatives and just seeing that there's too much opportunity out here for us. It's less, we just had to do it. So exactly. really, it's, if I had to tell anybody anything, it's just get started. Just start doing something. Just mm-hmm. whatever you can, just do it. Because if you're not doing nothing, you're just not doing nothing. That's, that is definitely true. Right. And you don't want to do that. <laughs> you can't learn from not moving. Exactly. Yeah, no, for sure, for sure. Definitely. Um, so Baby Lane, how'd you get your name? <laughs> <laughs> shit it's funny you ask uh, but yeah uh, it was actually one of my homeboys mm-hmm. uh, one of my homeboys uh, back in the day he actually gave me the name uh, you know just based off certain reasons that I wouldn't I wouldn't speak about right now but um, <clears throat> I'm not you know necessarily cool with that homeboy no more but i still rock with it you know what i'm right. saying because you already put the work in <laughs> yeah i already put the work in you know what i'm saying right. and mm-hmm. you know what i'm saying it ain't no loss you know love or nothing like that so right okay mm-hmm. for okay. sure that's what's up that's what's up cool 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 <laughs> so um what uh you say you've been rapping since like a young age what made you like what made you start rapping and what made you i guess um in between that time after like you know life and stuff happened what made you like pick it back up like let me take this serious and let me like actually get serious with this man um uh, what made me start rapping uh man i'd have to say it really just be my cousin um mm-hmm. uh, the same one that uh school we get uh gage yeah okay cool. yeah for sure uh shout out solo solo to the dawn uh aka kodak um but yeah man uh he just he really is the one that got me started with this shit i just wanted to rap really because you know he was starting to rap and shit we would just you know fuck around you know i really don't remember how it got started Mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying because we were so young we we built a studio in my grandma's house you know what i'm saying drilled a hole through the door sent the wire through the door you know what i'm saying try to soundproof it as much as we can we we recording off audacity you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I don't know that. if y'all know what audacity nah, is. Yeah. I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> off a of fucking bullshit ass, <laughs> yeah, off a of bullshit ass computer with no RAM. You know what exactly. I'm saying? But um, 
But yeah, man, I don't I don't really know exactly. You know, we just enjoyed listening to ourselves. Right. Like, mm-hmm. that's what yeah, it's we all have about. we have big yeah. influences, you know, obviously in in the rap culture, but at the same time we just like that satisfaction of listening to a finished product that we created on our own. For sure. Mm-hmm. And, sure, and yeah. that shit started real young. I don't right. know how for real. <laughs> you know nah, what I'm man. saying? Like, bro, nah, real talk. Like, his cousin and me, bro, mm-hmm. we used to go to Walmart at fucking like 5, 6 a.m., bro. <laughs> can't do that no more. Go, right. You can't <laughs> right. do that shit no more. Yeah. Go load up on some fucking candy, like, and go flip that shit. We were always just about, you know, a bag and like being our own bosses and mm-hmm. just like really. Representing ourselves and whatever the fuck we do, right. you know, like we we all take pride in like fucking wearing our own clothes, mm-hmm. listening to our own music, watching our own movies, like Facts. like we we're so like fucking tunnel vision that we don't even know who the next artist is in the city. Facts, right. you know, like we don't we don't even really give a fuck. It's not no no sh- slugs, no shots fired, right. but you know, right. I feel like at some point you got to be so focused in your uh-huh. shit that you know. Um, Everybody else is kind of like a non-factor at that point, right? Basically. You know, because yeah. if you watching them, like it's gonna, it's just gonna happen that you get influenced. It's just, it's, <clears throat> it's gonna rub off on you just because of some shit you already seen, you know. So I for me, so. I know definitely, like I don't even really like to know what another person got going on. If I find it as cool, then mm-hmm. it just caught my eye. But for the most part, I'm not looking for that shit, right? You know, for sure, for sure. Um, so. Like you say, you like you want um y'all been wanting to be your own bosses and stuff. Uh, speak on I guess some of your uh projects you have coming up, like the uh the cookbook and the mixology thing. I, Cause I know y'all touched on it a little bit, but y'all have some yeah, other yeah. stuff coming out now too, right? Yeah, bro. We um shit, man. With the whole network, bro. We we really picked that shit up and ran with it, bro. Like yeah, <laughs> like like bro said, like we started with that um one video, pretty much, you know. Um, it was a luxury apartments over there off of River Oaks. They invited us to pretty much come out and just do something for the residents, you know, post COVID. Mm-hmm. Well, um, well, did I say that right? Post COVID, yeah, it was like during. No, nah, it's still COVID. It, it's it still was COVID. Pre COVID, pre. I mean, pre, it was during COVID. COVID God damn it. shit. Yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we still love the shit. Yeah, we, we <laughs> it don't, it don't seem like, it, but we still yeah, live. Yeah, like, yeah, I know me. I thing. ain't turned on the news to watch nothing about COVID. And right. like, I just, I just know I still gotta wear a mask. Yeah, yeah. 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 I see somebody wearing a mask. Okay, let me get my real quick. Yeah, yeah. The stores ain't wearing them. Let me wear it. Exactly, bro. So pretty much, you know, from there it's just like they. They were kind of off on the concept. Mm -hmm. You know, with me, whenever somebody approaches me, I think bigger than, I guess, intended a lot of times. Mm -hmm. So whenever she hit me up, I'm thinking this fucking lifetime opportunity. I'm like, let me make this the best thing possible. But for her, it was just like, okay, we're just going to put this on Instagram Live and and do this for our residents. But it was just like, nah, fuck that. Like, let me call in my boy who I know can put quality behind it and just make it something bigger. Right. So, like, you know. As the time goes on, we're, we're thinking, like, damn, this is actually really good. You know, people would pay for this shit. Right. So that ties into where, you know, art is an asset. It's like the idea behind putting out the, yeah, get your shirts. Check it. Buy a, um, <laughs> but the, the idea behind putting out the videos is literally to where we can get paid in our sleep. We can get paid residually. Um hopefully until the day we die or as long as we want to promote the video. Right. You know, um, this is something that can really follow us and just get me and my boy paid, you know, right. rain, sleep, sleet or snow. Like, you right. know, um, as long as we're putting out content, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, and that just ties into where we saw the opportunity to make residual mo- re- residual income off of other people as well, mm-hmm. you know, by including their fan bases, including their following including their businesses, you know? Right. Um, yeah, so it's like, why not create content? Yeah. Yeah. For sure. So, you talk about um, the monetization and stuff. Um, how, how have y'all, I'm trying to figure out the right way to ask this, I guess, like, from going to just being a creative, because, again, it's hard for, like, that's one thing, especially in like our community, people have a hard time just like, oh, I want to spend money on this. So how was, how did y'all, like, I guess, transition into making, getting to that monetization and making people actually purchase our product and um, 
and actually getting a profit out of that? Like, was there any struggle, or was it just like, oh, no, we do this, it's easy, because people fuck with us, cause, or we, our shit's that good? Well, people don't respect shit that's free. Yeah. <laughs> that's a fact. Right. Like, you got to come with it. Like, it's really, it comes down to the respect. Like, first off, like, it's people that's just going to want to invest just because they respect you. Mm-hmm. And that's kind of, like, the first thing, because, like, we all doing a lot of something that's been done before anyway, so it's like we 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 trying our best to make it our own. Right. So it's like coming at it trying to get some money. It's like it's I ain't gonna sit here and make it seem like it's just easy. It's like it's it's work. It's right. like it's but the journey that's the fun part though. You know, it's mm-hmm. like making the money, like trying to get people to uh to to actually see the worth in everything that we're doing on top of all the other shit that's going on out there. It's like that part is honestly the fun part. It's like if it wasn't right. for that, it's like if everybody was just, hey, just do this. It's like, what is the work? You know what I'm saying? Like, right. I like the fact that it takes a little bit of effort because it is a lot of shit out there. The market is flooded at this point, so yeah, you gotta honestly. do some shit to really like pull your shit out there. Like, it's like man's movie. Like, we don't do we don't do music videos. Right. All right. we do is movies. Right. So we gotta we gotta elevate ourselves to at least stand out amongst all the shit that's out there. So. For so sure. we can make that money. For sure. <laughs> sure. No, facts. So one of the music videos he's talking about, that was well, movies that he's talking about, is uh, Push the Way, right? Yeah. Right, yeah, okay. So sure. tell us a little bit about that. Like, just the, you can tell us about the song creation process, and you can actually talk about the actual video creation process as well. <clears throat> oh, yeah, for sure. Um, yeah, we just we just dropped the movie. Uh, it's actually a two-part movie. Okay. Uh, okay. It's with two songs that, uh, that haven't even been released yet. Okay. Um, I really just dropped drop the movie so you know people can tap in and and really see the creative side of you know what we have going on it's not just about the music Mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying like like what we have on our team like it's a lot of stuff going on but at the same time like we all have about the same end goal you know what i'm saying and and with that being said it's it's never gonna be the absence of learning, you know what I'm saying? Learning is all about, just like you said, like, that's the, that's the part that makes it fun. Right. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Um, but as far as my video, uh, m- the movie, excuse me, uh, <laughs> Forever forever Straight and uh, Pushed Away, uh, it's, it's a part two, uh, two in one movie. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and basically... It just uh, you you just have to watch it you know to really understand where how we coming. With that being said, go check out his YouTube. Subscribe. Check, check out, out the my video, YouTube. The movie. Check out the movie. Check out yes, the movie. Sir. Yeah. Baby Lane. Yes, sir. You got to. But um, okay. So now. Oh yeah, and I'm sorry. Go I ahead. didn't even finish uh, answering your question. Oh, my bad. And um, as far as the recording process of the of the songs, mm-hmm. um, shout out to my boy Tez, my engineer. Um, here in here in Houston, Texas, uh, my man's doing it big. Uh, we got a lot of uh, we got a lot of stuff coming, man. Um, okay. uh, what I was gonna say, uh, you talking about the song creation process? Yeah, yeah, as far as that, man, it just it was on a whim, like, okay. um, and the songs were created, like, I want to say like a year apart from each other. Oh, for real. Yeah. Yeah, like I just felt like the two songs, you know, were created certain parts of my life that I was going through certain things, mm-hmm. but they, you know, coincide well because if you go watch the movie, mm-hmm. you know, it's day and night. I didn't so, even know that shit. That's wild. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. That shit the year, more you know. A year ago, bro. Like, yeah, like, man. A year apart, bro. Yeah, yeah man. man. Wow, like eight, eight, eight to ten months apart. Like I didn't even wow. have the songs written at the same time. Sometimes it be like that though. Shit that looks like some future shit. Yeah. Like, yeah. But it be like, like that though. Like a lot of stuff that um, uh, cause I've I've realized just in like um, like when I used to dabble in like uh, rapping and stuff, and just even like just other artists or whatever. Mm-hmm. Like when you you start first start creating um something, like and you like years later or something like that it like it'll apply to a certain situation like Thanks. you didn't even realize it, that it was gonna apply to that and it's like wow I'm low key kinda like yeah. writing like a premonition on some mm-hmm. shit or something you know what I'm saying it's really crazy though that's dope that's dope right. though it's tight that you didn't delete that like you you yeah. still saw like you know 
I'm gonna keep that. Like it's, it's worth keeping, you know. Definitely. Like, For sure. And really, like I'll just keep stuff in the vault. You right. know what I'm saying? Like what I try to shoot for is like just making timeless music. You know what I'm saying? That's a so, goal, man. Right. Yeah. So like, even if I do hold on to it for a year, two years, like if I still like the song, I'm gonna drop that shit. Damn. <laughs> so you don't even technically need to. You don't even need the beat. You don't even need the beat first. You just you writing before you even get the beat. Nah, nah, nah. I write to the. I write oh, to you the wrote beat. To the beat. Sure. So you had to. Be <laughs> you were just, really just holding it. I really just will hold it. Yeah, Damn, that's crazy. And I, I write all my songs. I don't freestyle none. So don't ask me to freestyle. <laughs> right. Damn it! I was about to ask you. <laughs> like, nah, nah, I swear. Nah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But um, okay, so Yo, um, is freestyle not. Wait, what's a freestyle? Can you not write down a freestyle? I mean, I, yeah, you could write down a freestyle for sure, but is that like, a freestyle? Fr- I don't freestyle off the dome. I'm not finna go okay. in the booth. Yeah, right. like, so it's it's one is a freestyle and the one is freestyle off the dome. Is that like a, there's two different categories of freestyles? Right, we gotta ask somebody. Look, I mean, one is typically I am rapping and everything is up here. Mm-hmm. At least that's what a lot of them portray. Right. You know, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's what you know, bro. I know I'm dyslexic, but ain't no nigga that. Nah, bro. It's something, it's something that's that cold. Do it, bro. I know. I know. I'm yeah, just be I'm <laughs> <exactly>. <laughs> no, but, no, Don't come from my head. I know. <laughs> I know. Like I know they got some crazy people out there, bro. But they damn. got they got mad respect for me. Oh yeah, bro. I'm an artist. I ain't no rapper. Mm-hmm. I feel it. It's like, a difference. It's all about that's, the quality, not quantity. Most you know definitely. Like, most you definitely. know how good you got to be able to read, like to be able to really rap. Like, oh, I like all, all the words that they actually truly know. Okay, like, gotcha. yeah, 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 like, that. Bro. I was like reading like, I was like, syllables like, and all that shit. Yeah, like, no bro, they know more words, know how to no, more words, say more words, pronounce it. And then it's like, I think it, it, the more talented part of that is more just like how you flip it. You know what right. I'm saying? Because you can say one word and like you can mean it in like three or four different ways, mm-hmm. or like if you say it a certain way make it sound like a different word and it tie into another word or something like that. That's, exactly. that's, yeah, that's, that's where the talent comes that's, in. That's I, the fun part. Yeah, man. That's <laughs> dope. That's dope. So, uh, speaking of talent, your words, what is worth EP? Uh, when did you drop that? Man, I actually dropped that in January. Word? At the beginning of the year? Yeah. Damn. Yeah, it's at the beginning of the year before COVID. all this shit happened. You were so right. ready to get the, do the shows, everything, huh? Yeah, I mean, all that. I've I've done shows before, <laughs> uh-huh. you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying. I I really ain't focused too much on the shows, mm-hmm. uh, especially with all the shit going on right now. Yeah, of course, yeah. But um, I'm I'm really just focused on the content. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, getting people to see what what I have going on over here. You know what I'm saying? What we got going on? For sure. And um, and yeah, that's the main thing. The content. You know, that's just the stepping stone. And if you go follow me on Instagram, shout out uh, to my Instagram at FSB Lane. Um, you can go see uh, as far as like when I posted the the post about my my EP dropping, all those songs are from 2017 and 2018. Like I held those mm-hmm. songs. I word. Yeah, like those those songs are. You know, like I said, just just part of what I was going on at that time. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Why'd you hold on for so long? Uh, I, unmotivated. Mm. You know okay. what I'm saying? Just yeah. life, man. You know, just not really wanting to make music as much. Yeah. Um, I would write and then never record it. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Uh, I met my engineer, uh, and then after that, uh, he he really motivated me. As long as uh, as far as uh, one of my other homeboys, uh, shout out to uh, Stevo Takeoff Entertainment. Uh, he actually got me to write, um, go a little, you know, go a little harder, you know what I'm saying, and uh, give me that extra push that I needed, cause you know he started, you know, wanting to rap, just out of the out of the whim, and I helped him, and then that gave me motivation to want to do it, take my shit serious That's again. Dope. Like I mean, I always take my shit serious, but never, you know, really pushed pushed it out. And wanted to get in front of people's faces as much as I do now. Right. Now nah, working with other creatives, like, and it's just a prime example. Like, it makes you want to do more because mm-hmm. once you see somebody else doing some dope, she like, damn, that nigga being dope. Why can't I be dope? Mm-hmm. Let me go be dope. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. just like Fact. that. <laughs> like, so. and, I, and yeah, and and as an artist, you you know, you're supposed to believe that you dope. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? If you don't think you dope, you don't think you that, then why are you you know why are you even doing it? 
Yeah. You know what I'm saying? True. If you True. if you think and that's in any art form, you know what I'm saying? You, you gotta sell it. Yeah. Yeah. You gotta think you the best. You gotta believe in yourself. Yeah. Right. That's why like a lot of rappers be saying like, yo, I'm the best rapper it is. And it's like Shit. You know, and it's like that might not be true. <laughs> <laughs> like it's a lot of niggas say that it's not true at all. But my unbreakable glasses. Yeah. <laughs> 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 you know what I mean? But it's like, hey, like as long as you believe it and you put the energy behind it. Somebody, there's somebody out there gonna believe it. You know what I'm saying? That's all you really need. You need that following. So, mm-hmm. shit, that's all that matters, man. Yeah, it's right. not really about the people that know you either. Yeah, the people not. that know you will never. Really they're not even gonna support it. you the most. Yeah, they're not. It's gonna be shit. really like that, for the people who are secretly just wishing that you don't get there. Hey, they looking at their situation, man. man. They be wishing for your downfall, mm-hmm. man. Like shit, I ain't up there. I, could, I don't want you to be up there, I'm right? Like, oh, bro, your, your the video got one fucking. Unlike, and I was like, that little bitch, bitch ass. <laughs> like, how the fuck you yeah. go, yo? How the fuck you go out your way to unlike hey, some shit? Hey, shout out to whoever disliked the video. You know what I'm saying? It's people that's, like you. We that's need. mad love. Yeah, no, in fact, it's the fuck true you. haters that we need. Nah, that's <laughs> energy, bro. That's energy you have to put into nah, that. Like, fuck you, <laughs> bro. Like, that person don't even know it. why they disliked it. Yeah, bro. it is like nah. Uh, they just disliked why it. they disliked it. They came on the hell to dislike it. I'm tired of that. Shit. People do that, bro. No, facts. They did. They did. We'll take the view. Exactly. Take that's all that matters at the end of the day. Because they probably sat and watched the whole video. It's like, man, I ain't like none of this. Watch it again. <laughs> they probably did. They probably watched it a couple times. Mm-hmm. Like, what did they what, think? I can do this. I can do this. Well, like, I just think about it, though. How you, have you ever been on YouTube to and dislike disliked some, some shit? Even if yeah. it was a video you didn't like. Like, nah, skip that I, shit. You, you just know what I mean? got off the yeah, video. Yeah, you just watching. like, I ain't got to look at this shit. Like, you got to be a true hater. Bro, that's you, like. You know how bad you like that shit to uh, dislike that exactly. shit? Exactly. <laughs> hey. All I'm gonna say is like if you watching a video on YouTube, that's like you look up a how to video and they don't tell you what the fuck you supposed to do. That's the only time I'm gonna dislike that yeah, shit. Really. Like, right. yeah. You taking and the this, time out of your day to dislike, dislike it. it. Like, like that's cool. I appreciate it. No, nah, facts. Yeah. No, nah, cause like people <laughs> definitely just do the thing where just they just wanna like they mad you doing something. Like mm-hmm. just really like some real shit. Like and that's it's some petty shit, but you know, but mm-hmm. just as much as you need to love, you need to hate too, cause just like so if I say one person didn't like the video, they probably told like 10 people, like, man, I hate this video. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, and then hey, some... bro, you seen that shit in? Nah, yeah. No, no cap. <laughs> no cap. When, yeah. I see, when I seen it, I told bro, we need to get like five more people to dislike that hoe. This hoe motherfuckers, when they go to that site, they be like, oh, this hoe. I don't know if it's good or bad. Let me right. watch. Like, yeah. right. no, People are that stupid. Right. You know? Right. Yeah, so like, regardless, regardless, people going to have their own opinion. Right. Regardless of who. That dislike who say shit, what though, whenever exactly is presented? You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? They gonna watch it and they gonna have their own opinion at the end of the day. Right. So uh, most definitely, man. Love or hate is this. This got a thin this line. Shit is still fuck you. That's all it is. You know what I'm saying? On YouTube, that dislike shit don't matter. You people got fifty thousand, hundred thousand likes, fifty thousand dislikes. Think about how many people just looked at the video. Right. Like, Not everybody even go there. Like, scroll down to even do that. You that's know what, what I'm saying? saying? Like, fuck out of here. Dislike my shit all you want. Right. You fuck you. my shit. That's baby. what I'm saying. That's, 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 that's time and energy <laughs> right. you put into it. Why, why, why is like, yeah. if, I, if I don't fuck with you, I ain't gonna even look at your shit, nigga. You looked at my shit and dislike. Fuck you, nigga. Exactly. Right, I'm petty, bro. I will go. <laughs> no I will go to your comment and be like, bitch. Like, don't do that shit. <laughs> don't do that shit, bro. Like. You, you could have kept that shit to yourself, bro. Nah. I, like, literally on Instagram, bro. Mm-hmm. Like, nah, not even Instagram. Everybody loves me on Instagram. But on Facebook. Facebook's bro, full of haters, though. Bro, Facebook <laughs> is a bunch of petty old single I stay ass away bitches. from Facebook and Twitter. Yeah. All right. That's the devil. No, most All definitely. Right. It's a toxic place. Very toxic. Exactly, bro. I get hated on by old, older people. They be like, oh, why is that so much? It costs too much. Bitch, you say that by a picture that, it, that food costs too much. Like, why do you have to go out your day to... To leave like negative comments on somebody's business profile when you never tried the product. Have you ever asked like somebody was hating on your shit? Like, why do you think that? Oh, I, what I do is I delete that comment and then I go literally straight to that DM and chew that ass out. Like, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> like, like, don't do that shit. Nah, I feel you. Like, it's just you rude, that, bro. bro. Nah, obviously, like it was one time. This this is a while back. I had like put a song out and I was like, yo, like tell me what you think. And somebody's like, yo, it's trash. And I was like, damn. Okay, cool. Why? Didn't say shit. I was like, bro, like, at least tell me why it's trash. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, so I'm, I, I need some feedback. If it, if it was a song or, like I said, some shit you tried. Either way. But it's, it's not nothing you try. You saying that 
about a picture? Off a picture. <laughs> like, come on now. That nigga just hating. Like, where do you live? Like, where, where, are you in the same city as me? Like, come on. Now. Let me, can I pull up? Like, can I, wait, 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 hold on. Picture of what, though? It's food, right? And my food that always looks good. Literally, she just said that. And she had a negative comment. It's too much. It's too much. Like, it's too much. It oh, looks too good? Oh, she, I want to say it was like, this you know, is overpriced. Way too much. So like, wait why'd you have to leave that? That's her. First of all, that ain't even her opinion. That's her situation. Broke ass. Why the fuck is she putting she her situation it, right? out there? Like you can't afford that shit. You're a broke bitch. So bro. you move around. <laughs> like you ain't gotta let me know that you can't afford my shit. <laughs> The right. fuck, like, just go yeah. where you can afford some shit. Just then go, go get your top ramen, then. Like, exactly. you know, somebody gonna you buy gonna this. Say that yeah. if you ain't eat it though. Exactly. You just looking at it now. You because if you eat point. it, it's like wow. Actually, that was worth the price. Like, right. you know, like at least try it first. You don't something. even know what all come with it. You just assuming that it's just food, right? And it's just too much. And yeah. I didn't ask. <laughs> I did not ask. <laughs> didn't ask for your but, opinion. See, once you put it out in the world, you ask. No. Yeah, That's nah. where the world has me fucked up. <laughs> that's them, bro, when Facebook put comments and all that liking shit, that's where they fucked up because it never was about that on there. It was about me uh, it was just about taking just pictures and uh, motherfuckers you graduated. Yeah, your bitches. family, yeah. Nine motherfuckers <laughs> out here. Exactly. And I poking. Love that's, poking that's, that's it. That's when oh. I got off Facebook. Right, I didn't poke, poke? I, 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 I didn't get to poke nobody. Nah, I was poking bitches all day. Oh, you were? Yeah. Oh, no, bro, that was flirting. That's, that's good flirting. My shit have been married since fucking... Tenth grade, ninth grade. I've been locked up, G. I'm sorry to hear that, man. Right. No, nah, I'm happy for you. Yeah, actually, my bad. No I didn't mean time. that. Yeah. Right. right. <laughs> that was during poking time. But you I hasn't pokes, but I won't speak on the pokes. You could have poked your girl. <laughs> you could have poked your girl. I didn't even know what the fuck a poke was. I just saw that shit. It's like, hey. poked. I was like, Say, you're cute. <laughs> that's I know, just what I, it is. I realized after, but it's yeah. like <laughs> six, seven months after. I'm like, oh, hey, can I get that poke? Yeah. Ain't gonna go poke in real life. Right. Yeah. That's what it's all about. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> turn that into the the online to real life. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm poking one person. Hey, right hey you know who you are. <laughs> like, keep, keep that shit on the record. Yeah. <laughs> I ain't poking no bitches no more. No confusion out right here. We were no. talking about the past. That was right. Facebook days. Yeah. Well, a long time ago, before these days. Yeah, no. Nah. BC. Oh, that's funny. That's funny. But okay, so. Um. Yeah. yeah. Did you you touch on your mixology book and your, uh the, the stuff you putting out for Patreon? Oh damn. Did I? No. no we not really. Kind of. We, we got the movie. movie. Yeah. We got the other oh, movie. Yeah. We got the other movie. Shit, the other wait. It's, wait. Oh, it's a it's a mixology we, movie or it's another movie? Right, so we, we got, got the mixology stuff, but we got another movie on mm. the way. Okay. That's not really centered around music, but there will be music present. See, uh, what's it? Chrome Chrome uh, oh, Cowboy? Hey, yeah, my boy. Zeke, Zeke. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. Shout Zeke. out my boy Zeke. Yeah, shout out to Zeke, man. Yeah, yeah man. my man Zeke. Zeke, that Zeke, Zeke. Zeke. Oh, no, Look at the, crazy the, ass. The <laughs> yeah. Cowboy. Tomorrow, huh? Yeah, that mother dropping on mm-hmm. tomorrow, ain't it? Yeah, oh, right. um, yeah. I saw like um, I saw a clip on IG real quick when I was scrolling past. I didn't get to actually check it out, but I'm gonna definitely um, I'm gonna check that out. Yeah, man, definitely check it out, bro. Um, so pretty much it's Lucid Living, um, pretty much featuring the Lonely Cowboy, which is Chrome Cowboy, as you know. Mm-hmm. Um, basically the film is talking about the parallel between homelessness and mental health. Mm-hmm. Um, basically the mental health of men in particular. Um, definitely. In everything we do, we want to like highlight, you know, the common factor of just mental health. Uh, we want to definitely make that shit prevalent because we feel like men's problems are constantly ignored. 100%. Um, I'm not gonna say all men's. I'll say black men's problems are constantly ignored. Mm-hmm. You know, we we're one of the highest statistically when it comes to suicide and depression, and the world thinks we're the most successful and we have everything, which isn't true. No. You know, it isn't true. You know, there's a lot of things that we have to keep up with as men. So we definitely want to um, highlight that in this film. And that's what we did. Um, the goal of this is really just to kind of invoke thought, you know, mm-hmm. and into the viewers' minds of, you know, what's going on, you know. Okay. How how long is it? It's, like a um, short... it's really an eight-minute film. But okay. mm-hmm. like after yeah. seeing the first one, I really feel like shit. We should go ahead and just like extend it. Um, we got a whole bunch of other projects too that we've been working on. Um, we've got the the Cricket Isle Mixology book. It's yeah. like a holiday special. Um, seven drinks for ten dollars on Patreon. So essentially, it's gonna be seven um, drinks 
We're gonna teach people how to make them. Uh, you get the full recipe with the link. And yeah, it's just basically a virtual holiday um, drink book. Okay, that's dope. That's dope. Um, have it? Have any of y'all ever been to therapy? Therapy? Yeah. Shit, not really. Nah, man. never. I can't say I have. Would y'all go? Would I? Definitely. Yeah. It would have to be talking to a uh, older male, hopefully black male. I feel that. Just because I just, I feel like naturally I want to go to somebody that is closely had my experience. For sure. Mm-hmm. You can't you can't talk to a white guy exactly about, like what we going through and, like it's not gonna work. <laughs> I, I wouldn't talk to a woman on it specifically because like you never will have my experience. Like yeah. you never will understand truly my mind or why I think like this or mm-hmm. what struggles I could possibly have about my shit. It's just like you can't. Like, right. Yeah. I feel like women also have like their own bias against men too. Mm-hmm. That's true. Yeah. Because <laughs> there's definitely therapists out there that um that probably like you know could be like do like the single therapy or like a uh, relationship therapy and i feel like okay you're doing relationship therapy but you you don't got a man or you're divorced or something like uh so yeah. how, how good are you really you know what i'm saying you can't no. get inside your own mind like so it's, yeah yeah but i definitely feel that though um mm-hmm. yeah were you about to say something uh i don't have to say that no oh, okay, okay. <laughs> uh yeah but yeah no i feel that that's dope. Go, would, would, would i you? go oh yeah most definitely um but also like I feel like I'm different than most people. I feel like I can like self-examine a little better than most. But um, question: Would okay, since y'all both say y'all would go to therapy, mm-hmm. would you tell people that you went to therapy? Yeah, why not? Yeah, I feel like you know I would go, but I feel like that's the part that necessarily would get held against you. Like no matter what you say, like people remember shit. You know, that you went to therapy. Yeah, they gonna like remember that and like be like. But I feel like therapy is getting a lot more normalized now. It is, it is. Um, but I think it, the difference is what you go in therapy for. Like, did you have an episode and that's why you went to therapy? I feel like people attach if you like the whole experience into like you leading into therapy more than like, like if you was like, okay, I'm just you know I'm a single man or whatever. I'm like I'm by myself and I was like, damn, like I feel like I have issues that I need to work through and everything like that. Let me go to therapy and do that. I feel like people like applaud that, but it's like yeah. okay. It was one night you was out with your friends and you lashed out and everybody you had a whole episode. You got into like three fights and then like you like cut yourself or something like that. And then it's like, then you went to therapy. It's like, okay, you had a lot going on. That's why you need to go to therapy. And now it's like, they're going to hold that over your head. But um, it's just, it's, I think it's literally just more of like knowing when you actually need it and mm-hmm. not waiting to the moment where you have to go kind of thing. You also just shouldn't give a fuck if you have to go. And that is something that you need. And then if you just end up having a conversation with somebody and they ask and you tell them what happened, it's like, hey, man, like, it's my experience. Like, yeah. the, you, the thing is, everybody is a fucking liar. Usually, everybody in the world is going through something. Right. And they will sit there and look at you like, oh, I can't believe you went to go fucking get help. But they got their own shit going on. So it's like, why should I give a fuck at this person looking at me thinking that I went to therapy because of this shit? They probably need to go to therapy. Okay. They probably over there doing who knows what. Right. But it's just deeming you just some type of way because of the outlook of what therapy is. And it's like, that's the problem. Like, everybody got fucking issues. Like, mm-hmm. everybody got a mental thing going on. True. Really, though. No, because everybody's they're like, saying now, like, everybody has, tick. like, some type of mental illness or something, you know, like, may it be anxiety <clears throat> or whatever else it may be. So, yeah. Yeah, I, sure. I feel like, shit, if you, you know, get to a point where, you know what I'm saying, you feel like you do need it, then you should go. Mm-hmm. And I, I don't see no reason why you should be embarrassed about that shit yeah, or, right. you know, feel like someone would hold that shit over your head because at the end of the day, it's your life. You know what I'm saying? True. They not nobody else is living your life. Right. Mm-hmm. You know but, what I'm saying? But I think I think it, it ties into a lot to just like I guess us being men. That's and pride. Like, yeah. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Like, but I feel like we're just now getting to the age where it's like where we're kind of like doing away with the whole like kind of soft thing. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like we're doing a little too too away with it. But yeah, I get what you're saying. I feel like okay. I I think we're doing more away with like. Like, um, telling a nigga like you acting like a bitch, mm-hmm. like you just being like a pussy boy. You know what I'm saying? Like just on some real shit. Like you just doing some pussy shit. Like then like being soft. Like I don't think it's um. I feel like masculinity is just like a concept that we created. You know what I'm saying? Like mm-hmm. you can be a man and not be masculine. 
you like it's like like on some shit like okay this is yeah, far give left. Me an example this, this is yeah, far left don't get me wrong i'm about to take you out there but it's just one of those things <laughs> oh, um, okay like <laughs> I'm just oh, shit. Up, like niggas getting their ass ate you know what i'm saying Whoa, yeah what the yeah that's what i'm saying bro it's right, hey that's a little too i deep told you it's far deep. left okay yeah, everybody got their preference no some, no 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 i'm yeah, not saying no, that's no. what you got to do or anything like that <laughs> no. but it's like far left but some niggas like that shit i can't comment that's yeah. That's see. That's again. That's your preference or something like that. But a lot of or a lot more men in our day and age are okay with that. I did not see that shit. Coming. I told you it's far left, bro. I said it's all. I don't even there. know how we got there. I, right. I, I told you it's far left, but it's still cut that shit. Nah, <laughs> keep it in. We're rolling. We're rolling. Here. But no. <laughs> but no. Um, it's just like a lot of men are into that now. Like, mm-hmm. and that's like if that's their sexual preference and that's what get them off. Let them do that. You know. What I don't saying? think I, that's masculine. No, I feel like that. why not? That's not, that's not masculine. How? I will say that I have an asshole. You have an oh, asshole. Shit. I want if I want to lick, <laughs> lick away. This is for another Tongue time. Turn that bitch place, down. Bro. Get it soaked. <laughs> like I feel <laughs> like, bro. Like honestly, <laughs> man, dudes oh, been liking right, shit right. for a long no, time. It's with a woman. Like, cut, cut. It's with a woman. Dudes, dudes. I hear you, Nig- <laughs> n- niggas. Been liking shit for a long time. Like all it takes is for. Generally, the shit to get popular, like how eating pussy was. Niggas didn't do that shit until that shit got popular. Until Lil Wayne started rapping. Exactly. Right. Wait, exactly. niggas wasn't eating pussy before? Not telling people, bro. Not, not telling people. <laughs> Why not? We who knows, bro? It's See, about popularity, be about bro. About the wrong shit, bro. Like, uh, bro, but that's just what it is. That that's the thing. That's that's the whole point. Like, niggas probably been wanting their ass ate, and niggas probably been getting secretly getting no, their yeah, ass ate. But no. I ain't saying us no. niggas, but no, like, no. niggas doing it. Niggas but niggas been doing this yeah, shit. You know what I'm saying? Bro. Like, they're just, in a different category. What? I don't know them niggas. They're just, yeah, right, right. They're waiting on the time. You think you don't know them niggas? It's, it's some of your homeboys <laughs> at home getting their ass ate right bro, now, bro. Like, I, I, <laughs> all the homies got to take a lie detector test. And they got your ass ate? No, bro. <laughs> Can we change the subject? I feel so wrong talking about this. Like, I don't see. Like that's that masculinity stuff you talking. I'm like, too masculine. Like, I don't nah, necessarily bro. feel wrong just because I know I ain't never getting my ass ate. But like, but hey, hey, no, 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 no. But but in, in context, when I'm talking about about, <laughs> I'm be real. I'm not gonna say never. If my wife wanna like something like, hey, I wanna turn that just down. Like, all right, nigga, how did we get from money <laughs> to getting your ass ate? How how? Uh, you make money from getting your ass ate. <laughs> what? You monetize getting your ass ate. Okay, we got um. The movie drops. This is great promo for it, right? No, it's. Not. <laughs> There will be no ass eating in the film. Right. I'm going to have to answer some questions. So. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, nigga, what, what the fuck you got going on? <laughs> but no. Well, okay. But still, it's just like, again, it's, um, I feel like people just like overthink a lot of that shit. Like, sometimes, okay. Like, with your, okay. Let me, let me get a better example. Please. Is <laughs> Like, okay. Say if you're getting vulnerable with your girl or something like that. Are you being less masculine because you're being vulnerable with your girl? But that's your girl, though, right? Like, it's that's your person. That's your person. Like, you have that connection with. Like, it's it's not. It's, you're not being less masculine by like breaking down in front of her or something like that. Like, that's if that's if that's your like your person, your partner, your soulmate, whatever it may be. Like, you should be able to do that. But you shouldn't be looked at as less masculine because you're crying or you're like you had a weak moment. I feel like all that shit is situational. <clears throat> mm-hmm. It basically comes down to the situation, like. Well, like what you're crying over, kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, don't be crying about no stupid shit. Like weak like, ass little nigga. If it's a reason, you know what I'm saying. For yeah. sure. Like you know, every, just had everybody, an he broke, everybody got their like, own reasons. Why you talking to me like that, bro? I can't yeah. do this. Like everybody got their reasons. You know what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah. You know, everybody validates those reasons however they want to. Exactly. But you gotta look at yourself mm-hmm. and you know set your bar a little higher, my nigga. You know what I'm saying. Like, For sure. So, but I, I think it's just uh, like you said, situation. I think it's still like a person by person basis too, because like yeah, facts. It could it could be a nigga that can like that be crying about everything, but he's still with everybody else. No, <laughs> like, so it's like yeah, is he less masculine because he cried? Depend. That's how how it is. Like literally, it depend. I mean, fucking gay niggas over there, they whoop your ass, bro. They like, got hands. No facts. Yeah, they, but facts. Mas- masculinity well, they don't really it. have any. But first of all, mask to me, masculinity is something that we like you say have created. Like a man is gonna do it like what you naturally innately are gonna fucking do like we're normally just always gonna be competitive like so like if a nigga like if this nigga crying about some shit depending on what the fuck this nigga crying about 
it's gonna be a specific type of tough love or some shit. It's always gonna be tough I don't, love because it's a nigga. I don't even <laughs> think it's that. That's the case, bro. People can cry, bro. That's not what masculinity is based off of. Like people have emotions. God gave you the ability to cry, nigga. You can cry. But, but a lot, of, a lot of men say like. Or like okay, it's not no, it's not the men that say that. It's the women that say it's that. men and women. No, it's the men that say that based off the women. Because <laughs> what woman wants a crying ass nigga? Right. As much as they may say they want that to, and right. then they're gonna hold that shit against you, bro. Anything you could tell your woman, she'll hold that shit against you. So like, your you know, bitch ass was crying the other day. Shut up! Like damn. <laughs> like, like you know, <laughs> bro, your chick will call you sensitive. Like, no, that's like, a fact. Like, like, nigga, stop <laughs> being sensitive, nigga. huh? To the next nigga. Damn. Right. And now that's when we got a problem on the court. Right. It shouldn't even yeah. be all that. It like, should, you know, but still, yeah. yeah. The next nigga you talking right. about that shit? <laughs> this hoe getting deep. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We getting somewhere. I like well, it. Though. I wasn't trying to go there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Talk about but, them, hey. but you know. But nah, but you're right, though. You you, you, you got a point there. Because, like, guys, we, like, bro, we really don't care. You know what I mean? Like For sure. We don't really give a fuck. Like, you could tell me anything besides you getting your ass hit, and I'm going to be like, nigga, you, that's live. You tell me some shit. You not like gonna that. say that's live, bro. I'll be like, nigga, why you tell me that shit? <laughs> but why, what, why, okay, why? he's like, bro. No, 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 no. It wasn't a rabbit hole. We're not going down. <laughs> We're leaving that in the past. All right, I'm, I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna leave it. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> but nah. No, um. Yeah, you you you're right about the whole because like women don't have to worry about that. Women can do anything. They can be like as feminine as they want to, or as masculine as they want to, and they can they are allowed to enjoy life and all its pleasures without any I won't say consequence because they have consequences but like um they get they get to experience all the benefits out of life for the most part like basically um like it's maybe like physically sexually like um like uh financially whatever it may be like women get to access all that shit without a problem like women go down the street um, a nigga's trying to holler. Like, and then they walk inside a bar. Okay, a nigga's going to try to buy him a drink. Like, or buy their food for him or something like that. Or she go to the store. Like, they trying to buy whatever they try to got up, trying to buy from the store. Like, they get all the access, all that shit. Niggas, we walk anywhere. Shit, if you ain't got money, shit, most times you ain't, you, you ain't going to get shit. <laughs> like, there ain't no, ain't no woman going to come up and be like, hey, I want to buy that drink for you. How mm-hmm. often does it happen? Like, I just want them to open the door sometimes. Like, at least see me coming and be like, hold that bitch. I hold that bitch. I don't even feel like that's a chivalry thing. It's just like, damn, so I'm coming. Surprised. Right, you see me. <laughs> like, I'm coming. <laughs> <It's right>. Fuck. <Right. laughs> <laughs> 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 nah, for right. real. But like, women women be stuck in their ways with that shit, though. Yeah, bro. Like, I told my chick the other day, my lady, she, I told her, women don't realize they're not a queen until they get a king. You know, and she's like, what the fuck do you mean? Hmm. You know what I'm saying? Oh. Oh, oh yeah, I king. feel it. I was like, damn, you gotta go. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I feel it. The king, exactly. You gotta get you a king. Like you don't, you don't want nobody who has a peasant mindset. And at the same time, women need to do a better job of building up their king. You know, it'll be okay if a man could be vulnerable with a woman and never have to hear about that shit. Mm-hmm. But that's not the case. Mm-hmm. Like, like some shit, you know, shouldn't be shared. Most shit shouldn't be shared. If I told you, don't share it. You know, it's not a conversational piece. It's not nothing that needs to be debated or negated. Like I'm, I'm telling you something. So treat yourself as a queen and hold it in confidence. Mm-hmm. Like treat yourself as a queen and respect your king. You mm-hmm. know, because as soon as he is diminished and brought down to peasantry, what does that make you, bitch? Like it a makes whore. You, <laughs> it makes you a peasant. <laughs> you know, like it makes it makes you a peasant because you're you're with a peasant. You know, but if you're with a way. king. Everybody around you is going to treat you like a queen. True. You know? Facts, facts. But, yeah. We I, in the new age. Y'all know they don't see it that way. They's kings. Shit, they better see it that way. They Shit. kings out here. Shit, nah. they ain't even queens. Nigga, they kings. Right. Nah, but that's what nah. I mean. Like, we we, we, <laughs> we, ha- we hey, have to I'm, tolerate too hey. much shit. We have to tolerate people's feelings. I'm all for the women empowerment and shit. Yeah, same. But, but when you get to talking about y'all kings and this, that, and the third, y'all... Y'all doing too much, right? But yeah, I'm not it saying anything mutual, like they're you know not they're not queens, but it's like treat yourself as such, right? And allow right. us to treat you as such. You right. know what I mean? Don't don't feel like you're here when you're not there. You know, people just kind of have like life fucking confused on what the real fucking purpose of it's life is. It's the entitlement that society has bestowed upon them. 
100%. The same way we have a specific type of entitlement as well. But all right. we all have to break from this shit. They feel like, honestly, man is supposed to provide almost everything for them. They are breaking out of that shit by trying to be more independent. Also, in the end, finding out that they don't really want to be that independent. They it's don't like, want I to don't be really that want to work that much. <laughs> <They're> like, <laughs> we knew that. <laughs> like, it's like, yeah, like. Get, go go get drafted the war see how that shit feel like yeah, it's like shit's that. not fun you know mm-hmm. like we ain't out here wanting to do this shit either like <laughs> Loki, what if they said um you getting off the cruise ship and it wasn't women and children first and we actually had to fight the women to get on the boat first it'd be some shit we we win, win, I mean, we we, I mean, we gonna get on the boat. Yeah, we, we gonna get on the boat. <laughs> on the boat. Yeah, but it's like, gonna oh, be a whole yeah. bunch of women and children not on <laughs> not the boat. Yeah, basically, <laughs> yeah. move, bitch! Like, <laughs> like for real, but. Uh, yeah, women just. I can go all day about women, man. We, I'm, I'm, no, I don't want to bash. Yeah, women, I'm, I'm not trying to bash. It's really them, about it's just, the men, though. Cause, yeah, you know, it's just like treat your that's man. That's what like the whole film was this. about. You know, that's right. we was talking about men, and then he got the women. But it's really just ties down to like the everybody got shit, and this is highlighting us, right? Because they already highlighted. Mm-hmm. They right. got plenty of shit out there highlighting their bullshit and whatever the fuck going right. on. Like we don't got nothing highlighting us. Everything is literally. Showing us in some negative ass fucking way. Yep. We either gotta be the monkey that entertains the white man, and I'm sick of that shit. Yeah, I am too. It's mm-hmm. getting the real. Like, I'm sick of that. Like, that's not us. Like, we are way more than what the fuck they portray. And it's like, what do y'all think about Tyler Perry, bro? Like, <laughs> like, bro, I was thinking the other day, bro. And I was pissed <laughs> off. No cap, bro. No, bro, no cap. I was just really like, damn, bro, what is Tyler Perry? Tyler Perry has done some shit for the community, but. Like, but he has diminished, helped diminish the characteristics of a black man. I feel like person. I mean, hey, do he really own his own shit? Like, is that shit really his? Like the studio? Oh, he's a boss. Yeah. He's a boss. Tyler Perry is secretly a black woman. <laughs> he's a boss. It but... wasn't secret. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like how many movies about it? <laughs> like, like, right. <laughs> but I mean, like, yes, that's he... his whole thing is like you know build up the woman, but. I don't feel like I feel like he built up the woman while tearing down the black man, and I feel like he could have did did it a little bit better personally. But he, he was putting his own experiences in the movies though, because didn't that nigga get raped or something a long time ago? Uh, uh, I don't shit. know about none I of mean, that. honestly, like even if that is the case, I mean, you don't do that. But it's like it's like, but it's 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 highly possible because yeah. the, the like people being molested at a young age is it's at a real high rate and stuff so i wouldn't be surprised kind of thing i don't know if it's true or not so don't quote me don't but quote you know me. yeah but you know um i mean still regardless like like you said like you can uplift a, a black woman without bringing a black man down mm-hmm. um and like because but also at the same time it's you have to also, also think like who is his target audience like was it black women or or women in general, or was it, it was it was black women? But what does that make the black women think about their black man that they have sitting at home? Right, like like well, like with diary mad black women or something like that. When she did that. that exactly. That. <laughs> right, I started hating niggas after diary that. I was like, black, damn, you know what I'm saying <laughs> like diary of a black wo- woman, uh, fucking for color girls, like oh yeah, that's like, another one for color girls, bro. All the men were shit, but because okay. See that? The light skinned nigga was shit. So the dark skin anytime nigga the light skinned nigga is also shit. Shout out Byron. Bro. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not even on Byron. Because usually it's the dark skins that they go make beats. Right, right. The light skin too. See, but that's, that's more of what, like, I have more of an issue is uh, with that. Like, because that's like, that's a subconscious condition in the shit. You know exactly. what I'm saying? Um, and. Same I feel, way they make the dark girl ugly. Exactly. I don't, I don't like that shit. Like, that's one thing, like. I feel like us as creatives and everything, we need to stray away from that shit. Because, mm-hmm. like, you don't, man, you do, uh, we was talking about this last time we was here. Uh, just, like, you don't pay attention how much that can, like, the subconscious stuff really just affects your actual thought process and things. Um, like, the fact that y'all did a movie with, uh, with Chrome Cowboy, he's a dark-skinned man. Like, it's great. Y'all could have went the light skin route and been mm-hmm. like, okay, you know people going to watch because he's fair skin kind of thing. You know what I'm saying? Like, just to get that people in, which mm-hmm. a lot of, like, companies and stuff do with that thought process in mind. But it's like, nah, sometimes, you, like, let's put a black man in a, like, hi, like highlight a black man in, like, a, because I won't even say, like, like in the movie, it's not like a, like a positive light, but it's just like, this is reality kind of thing. 
know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Like, this is actually going on. And the thing is, like, this is going on because of the conditioning of stuff. Like, this is this shit is in our DNA now at this point. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because this passed down from generations of, like, just shit. You know, just dealing with shit. You know, like, so... Um, it's just I just hate the fact that you know every strong black man is diminished, mm-hmm. you know, and it just kind of gives me the idea of you know the reason why it's easy for you know us to come together is just because like I look at us like the Spartans like anybody like I associate oh. right associating <laughs> myself with is just like it has to be on another level of you know just like a man of man and and is not willing to be diminished by anybody and just like. It is comfortable living as a man and walking as a man because society doesn't want you to do that. Mm-hmm. Like we as black men, we are targeted, you know, and 100%. we're we're diminished every generation. Like it's it's just like a um, a eroding process that just kind of I for one want to use use film and shit like that to um, uplift our community mm-hmm. and just really show that art is an asset, you know. And show that, you know, you can um, really just make money off of ourselves. We don't really need anybody. You're our king. You're a god. You you can create create whatever you need. You know? Right. Uh, this, is, um, this is something I was thinking earlier today, actually. Do y'all think um, people are highlight? I'm not highlighting, um, profiting, profiting off the hood? Do you think people are profiting off the hood? Mm-hmm. Not the right people. Yeah, not, not people in the hood. Yeah. <clears throat> that's yeah. That's what I was thinking too. Cause like, I, I was just thinking like just uh, I was listening to a podcast and just talking about just like all the like you know recent shootings about like, just artists and everything, and it's all like just black artists for the most part. Um, they're dying in tr- tragic ways, and it's just like <clears throat> black and brown. Yeah, yeah, black and brown. True, true, true. Yes, yes, yes. Um, it's just like um, they're just getting um, you know, just. Your careers are in, get, like cut short just off of some bullshit. Not yeah. even like, and it's really like just some hood shit, whatever it may be. Um, and like, who's really profiting off of that? It's these record labels. It's the like TMZ, um, the news, or whatever. Like they're getting all the profits out of it. But like, and it's it's just that I don't feel like I feel like we should do something different because. We're the people that's like, well, I'm not going to say me, but there's people, people are coming out of the hood. You know what I'm saying? They're actually putting that work in. They're like, they're doing all this stuff. Like, how, how do we stop that? Because I feel like that's an issue. And that, that goes more into like the whole, like, again, to the conditioning thing. Like, we're being conditioned because we're allowing these people that's not our color or, for, or from our culture dictate what's going on in our culture. Like, mm-hmm. I feel like us as artists, we... Basically, I feel like we need to start gatekeeping shit. Because I feel like that's our issue. We don't gatekeep anything. We're like, okay, let's give our art out to the world. And we need to start like, shignighting shit, pretty much. <laughs> Damn. Shug-nighting. I mean, well. Hey, if that's what we got to do, dog. Like, like, I'm, I'm cool. I'm cool with shit. that because, mm-hmm. like, shit. Yeah. Shit. Yeah, everybody getting explo- <laughs> exploited. Yeah, you know? and that's what I'm saying. Like, that People are getting stop. exploited. Like, you know, like, I honestly feel like, you know, rapping correlation, like, I can really be used as a a pipeline to the prison system. I'm not, have y'all ever heard of that? Like where people are saying the rap music is a pipeline to the prison system. You know, the same people who own the fucking rap labels own the prisons. You yeah. know, it's um. I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, why? Why not? Like, why not get money off the back end? Like, literally, Shit. you have a mindset to where you listen to different ki- kinds of music. You're not mm-hmm. just stuck in. In, in hip hop, you know, you're not yeah. just stuck in the hood, but you're also not just in the hood. Right. You know, not in the true hood, you know, where they're sa- selling single cigarettes and they're allowing this shit. Yeah, no. Nah. Like, I, I, I grew up in hood suburbia. Right. Uh, yeah, that's right. what I grew up in. <laughs> like, right, where you can sell single beers and shit <laughs> like that. Like, yeah, niggas say hood suburbia. You know, for real, bro. <laughs> like, because it's like, you know, it's that, that in between. Like, it's we better than, like, we live in better places than like it was in like the hood, but it's also in, we ain't like in no. It's because those niggas, niggas from the household. hood went there, so like <laughs> exactly. all, yeah, it's hood suburbia. It's like exactly. we got bigger houses. houses. Yeah, literally. <laughs> like, that's Same all it problems. Is. Bigger you were, houses. Were your parents divorced? Nah. Oh, oh shit, my parents were divorced. I was gonna say it's just like that, you know. Shit, one fa- one parent stay in the hood, the other one stay in the suburbs. And 
No, no. Just got bounced around. No, both my parents together, but my parents came from that. Like they came up together. No, nah, not even together. My mom's from Chicago. My dad's from Kansas City, Missouri. Like oh that? How they mix up? Dallas. Just going to school together. Right. Yeah. And it's, you know. Oh, there I am. Fucking so it's like, Dallas. yeah. <laughs> yeah, you said fuck Dallas? I said fucking Dallas. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> but no, yeah. I didn't say all that, but. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, but no, it's just like, but they, they grew up from that. So it's like, they they knew where they didn't want us to be like raised up at. So mm-hmm. it's like, all right, we're going to put try to put us in a better position. Because when, I guess when the neighborhood, when we first moved in, it was white people living in the neighborhood. But, you know, once the more, like, soon, because we was like the third subdivision. And, like, once we hit the block and stuff, like, we was, like, the second house, like, second family move in there. Now, shortly, like, after that, like, the white people started moving out. But people got to move back to the hood. That's where we fuck up is, like, you know, we got to, we got to. Is it, do we have to move back to the hood or just start funding our money back into the hood? We need to How own you, some shit. That's yeah, what it is. Awesome even shit, in the man. hood, like, the one of the issues that I Taxes, know. Taxes, goddamn it. We don't own none of them houses. Niggas is renting houses in the hood majority of the time. And the people that own those houses that they rent are usually either the Asians, Chinese, Arabian people. Like, yeah. it's never us doing this shit for each other. But it's also mm-hmm. the problem we be selling our stuff off. Well, yeah, like that's I don't understand why the fuck. Well, because I know why because be we, we 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 want money so goddamn bad. Mm-hmm. So it's like if we realize that we have all of the shit that we need, stop trying to get something just to get the fuck. Then we would actually be able to do some shit because I feel like if we just actually started doing stuff for ourselves, like have our own schools, our own housing systems, like teach our own people about. We got enough black plumbers. We got enough mm-hmm. black. This it's to it's, teach pro, it's shit. programmed for that not to happen though. Mm-hmm. It's it's. Like, literally, the time when we tried that, it was bombed. And I honestly don't feel like it, they would ever necessarily, like, allow that. You know, I know in the other um, episode we were talking about pretty much, like, shit. Honestly, it's going to be, like, either we're going to have to shut up or we're going to go to war. I don't ever fucking feel like they would ever allow black people to succeed, you know, or potentially overthrow them. Um. Uh. I, I think we ass. can. I think it's a lot easier to do it now. <laughs> so what'd you say? I said, I beat the ass. <laughs> Got me fucked up. Now I'm gonna die for this shit. Yeah, no, real <laughs> shit. But I feel like it's different now because just with, um, like, just with this, you know, you got a phone, like, like, on some real shit, like, I can have a million dollars in my phone and I can buy property off of my phone and do all this shit and, like, they might, they might, see the name and stuff go by but they don't see they might they might not even see my face ever you know kind of thing like it could be like because um i think it's more of the issue like it's because just like with the police they don't ever really like maybe like individually they might bother somebody but they'll definitely fuck with you see a group of niggas just hanging out they like what you niggas doing y'all up to something y'all doing something like when you say group of us coming together that's when they start getting worried because it's power in numbers if it's like if it's a hundred of us and a thousand of them, we gonna knock them out. No questions asked. Like that's not an issue. Like we we do this shit. Like so, I th- I think it's just more just like again when we come together and just be like in a collective, that's more the issue. But if we do like our own like individual work and like just bring that shit together, but like again, and that's, that's I think that's another issue. Just like with our people and our culture and stuff. Is that um, we love to put stuff on Front Street. Like, we like to be flashy with our shit. We have to let niggas know, like, yeah, I did this shit. I, I'm here. I made it. Like, I broke out that shit. And it's like, it's justified. Like, I would do that shit too. I get it. But they know that's our weakness. We've been like that since we was over there. Exactly. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And that's and that's been our downfalls, like, since then. Like, that's how been, niggas get caught up when they selling drugs and shit. Be like, hey, bro, she. <laughs> be like, nah, nigga, you can't be letting that Yeah, know. exactly. Blowing the spot <laughs> up, bro. Like, because I'm, 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 pretty fucking sure that's why like they hate it so much like from back then like they probably like sailed over to africa and it was like oh man this is this is a cool place and he's like yeah you know we just do this shit and it's like we just got some gold over here it's like what you doing broke nigga oh okay bet <laughs> like and it was like damn like we're broke. i got your broke nigga. yeah like, <laughs> start throwing the nets and everything and that's look where we at now like they yeah, just, it's we the, didn't come from africa though i didn't I, I don't know. That was, yeah, I got you. I okay. know. Yeah. <laughs> and they didn't come over from Africa. The Africans but, sold us, bro. 
Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, technically, they still take the cane. They, they cane. They may have what? Yeah, they, they was in it's, Africa. It's, at some point it's, it's before a lot they of stuff going over on there like yeah. a box. Yeah, it's still it's, the motherland. Yeah, it's still it was a lot of stuff, different stuff going on. There's people getting sold. There's people getting taken. There's people going over here. It's there's people already here. It's just a bunch of different shit. You know. So do y'all think that do y'all believe that we're like Israelites? Do y'all follow up with that or no? Um, I don't necessarily know what I am. That's the journey right now. I'm that yeah, that's that what I need to figure. out I just know I ain't black. God damn it. Stop calling me this so what do we go dark by? ass what color. Do we, what do we call? All I know Man, is that nigga. they called me that shit because they think that white is good and it's like pure and shit. <laughs> black is the opposite of that. So fuck off. Nah, nah <laughs> fuck that shit. I ain't black. Because like. okay, if have you ever taken an art class before? Yeah. Okay, so what is the absence of color? Fucking black. No, no, the absence of color. What? It's not black. It's white. Oh yeah, I was wrong. Cut yeah. that shit. <laughs> Black is all the colors put together. Exactly, bro. I don't know, like man. I forgot. I was taught different. What yeah. you what you thought? I was taught black was the absence of color. You know what you know why white men and I are afraid of them? Because what color makes white? You can't make white. You can't make one? You can't. Once, yeah, like, once it's here, it's not not coming back. Once but, it's gone, it's not coming back. So they gotta yeah. they gotta control you niggas <laughs> to to save <laughs> us niggas. <laughs> To save their fucking, <laughs> <laughs> like, like to fucking save the race, bro. They're 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 deleting us, bro. They're they're, they're slowly and surely deleting <clears throat> us. At the same time, bro, we you know deleting ourselves. Like, that's true. That Based shit. Off of their that, sh- that shit ain't yeah. Based off of their programming, yeah. so they're still at the top. But at the same time, you know what I'm saying. People feel like they stuck in in the ways that, you know, that we were brought up and shit like that. And, the, and what we see encourages that as well. What we hear, mm-hmm. the shit we, you know, idolize and shit like that. Right. Right. So you, you got to find a median, you know, to where you can, it's cool to idolize that shit, but you got to know, like, you know, what's left and what's right. Right. You know what I'm saying? You got to, I feel like. You can idolize it, but you also gotta know, like, don't fall prey to it, and like, yeah. do better. And at the same time, you already know you, like, why I said you, as soon as you get up on some shit, it's like that same amount of people hate on you for it. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? And be the first niggas that be to do it is us you know, community. Yeah, yeah. I, I definitely feel that, bro. I definitely <laughs> feel that, but it's like that. That's never really gonna change. That ain't gonna change. Like, I'm, that's not really gonna change. I'm not gonna, gonna say change. never. It's just it takes like somebody's always gonna be a hater, bro. If I see a nigga like from the, Tennessee come up and he look like me, I'm gonna be like, "What the fuck is this nigga a fucking twist cornrow? <laughs> Light skinned ass nigga? Like, he stole Tennessee. my face. What he got? That yeah. I don't got. Like yeah. that's that's what you gonna be nah, saying? No, literally, what right. he got that I don't bro, got? Innately, it's gonna be like, "Fuck that nigga." <laughs> Oh, yeah, Why that yeah. nigga look like? Me? But I see, like, I feel like it should be the thing, like, it should be more of like, okay, if you did it, that means I can too. It yeah, and you know that. that's what I'm on. Yeah, and that's niggas, what yeah. niggas be like. How the fuck he get there? The fuck he don't deserve that shit. Yeah, like the fuck. Okay, so <laughs> if y'all get, uh, mm-hmm. I don't think anybody can be where I'm at. I'm gonna be. Yeah, like I don't. I feel like you know. Everybody got a different fucking course of action, but mm. like you gotta be willing to do a certain thing to to be like me. Mm-hmm. For sure, it's I really, really come down to the work, man. A lot of people then I, I, again, just a lot of people be having to hate because they didn't put in the effort or the work into it. Like mm-hmm. if they did, they wouldn't be having that conversation like oh why is he doing better than me like shit, did you do anything like right. niggas really think that shit, a lot of shit be happening overnight like Facts. they didn't see the hours you was putting in working on your songs in the studio they didn't see the hours you editing your video they didn't see the hours you put into like trying recipes and stuff like that mm-hmm. they didn't see none of that stuff you know what I'm saying like um that's that's just we'll go back into that just you know I don't know so if y'all get it y'all get signed or a deal or something What's the first thing y'all doing with that like that money that come in? First off, we don't take deals. I don't take deals. You don't take deals? I wanted them to answer first because <laughs> they don't make music. But yeah, I, I'm not really looking for no deal. So y'all not gonna collaborate with any other like type I, of? I collab with you. 
that's what I mean. Like when I say a deal, I'm not saying like you're signing your stuff away. I'm saying like they they came to you and it's like, hey, we'll give you money um, to put your like whatever on our platform, or we're like we're sponsoring you kind of thing. Like, but they give you you're, they basically giving you money like type of thing. I'm reading that motherfucking fine print to see. I feel what's like going on. if if they want me on their platform, is the whole reason why I created my own. Like they could come to my shit, pay me for advertisement, and that would be that. Like, but I don't need to go to nobody else's shit. Mm-hmm. Like, I, we don't necessarily. What do we need with somebody else's shit? Like, what what will somebody else ever be able to really do for us if they came to us and asked us to do something for them? Not true. You're right. But okay. now, if you if you want to invest in what what the fuck I got going on, we're we'll always taking yeah, investment. That's different. Yeah, you know. But I'm never gonna be like, okay, we're gonna come to your shit. That's why we created our own shit. So, okay, they come to your shit, they need some money, what are you doing with the money? Doing whatever the fuck they pay me <laughs> with the money for and go and buy a Lamborghini. Uh, <laughs> okay, that's what, I, that's what I want to hear. Like, what are you doing first? That's what I want to know. Like, after when you get that check, you're like, all right, I'm about to do this. Oh, I'm trying. Oh, I thought you were. No, 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 no. We all on the independent shit. I get that. That's It's the best route to go. <laughs> like, yeah, nah. <laughs> like, that's why I was like, yeah, I don't want y'all, but like, what are you doing with the money? Like, what yeah, are you, like, I the. Was straight up traveling, investing so that I could make sure that my people and my people in the future is going to be good. Like, I, I'm not, I feel like, why do this shit for my my current living, knowing that I ain't going to be here that long? I want my family to have the experience of not having to choose if they want to go to some punk ass college or some shit like that like you can go work in whatever field you want because you already is set like right. regardless of how the world is going like that's my goal generational it's, wealth exactly yes sir yeah man uh yeah bro actually told me earlier today you know we had we was having a conversation and uh we were talking about money mm-hmm. and uh he said money just really just buys experiences and Honestly. uh and you know it doesn't necessarily get you through life exactly how you were you know raised and brought up to look at it like it's really a material object that helps you experience things Mm -hmm. in life and uh i think that's an important aspect for people to understand because uh you know life is literally what you make out of that shit for sure yeah for sure because i think um yeah a lot of money like when you're wearing like i guess this like kind of tax bracket kind of thing, money is like important because we got to take care of our bills and we got to mm-hmm. fund our ventures and everything like that. But like the people with money, they don't worry about money. Like mm-hmm. they like, um, I was listening to something like, and they were just talking about like, uh, they were saying like, it's like when you get to a certain point, it's like, it's not even about the money anymore. It's more about the power. Like mm-hmm. I think they was talking it's about, about what you can do with it. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Facts. They was, Cause it was talking to what, what companies was it? It was like, they was talking like Facebook and it was like some other shit. I don't know. Um, but it's like they were just talking about just regulating some shit. Like, oh, they want inform- um, access to like I guess their information about their data and everything like that um, for the government. And it's just like the only reason they had that discussion is like one, so they the government wants the access to the data so they can manipulate the people more, kind of thing. Basically, like it's just more again power over the people. Like mm-hmm. money isn't power. It's a that is an imaginary thing. There's a, it's a piece of paper they can print out. Anytime they want to, honestly, the paper isn't really worth much in now. Anyways, like it's you, bro. Everything's on your phone, right? Like you use your credit card for stuff. It's like it's digital numbers. Like, and they're Bitcoin. Yeah, it, bro. It goes up and goes down. Yeah, it's crazy. Bro. Yeah. So it's like, I feel like us as humans, we push too much on um, value on money and just cash. And it's like, like. Let's go back to when we was like trading goats and stuff, and like goats and chickens. Uh, you like know for- why though? You know why they put all that infamous, uh, all that uh, that ain't the word I want to use, but all just all the attention on that shit. Mm-hmm. It's cause they realized that they that was the only power that they really could create for themselves. It's mm-hmm. money. It's principle. Like we 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 naturally creative. We're naturally strong. We naturally can do all kinds of shit. When you don't have that natural thing that you can do, you go and you create something. Yeah. So they create currency. They create these ways where it's like I can put myself on top and have you niggas at the bottom. And in order for you to get up here with me, you got to do all this shit to get up here. You may even not even get up here. I'll, I'll fuck around. I'll throw you a bone. I'll make you feel like you can get up here just so you can fall all the way the fuck back down. Yeah, man. Yeah, it's crazy. Crazy shit. world we live in. Look here before the interview goes. 
you know, I um shit. Yeah, time I, I'm flying, bro. Right, it really did, bro. I forgot to kind of like touch on, you know, the whole artist is an asset. Um, the idea behind that was just like, you said it. <laughs> <laughs> Promo. Right. Um, was that, you know, with the Jeezy and um, Gucci Man battle, mm-hmm. you saw that on Versus, yeah. was just Crazy. like, you know, I've seen everybody commenting about, you know, how Jeezy, Jeezy's the real boss because he got real estate and shit like that, which mm-hmm. is cool. Like, nothing's wrong with real estate, but I didn't really, really like the act. The aspect of people like uh, negating the fact that music is an equal mm-hmm. asset. Like fucking 100%. Michael Jackson still gets paid even though he's dead. Yeah, Prince still gets paid even though he's dead. No royalties, a motherfucking man. Yeah, right. You know what I mean? Like literally, they can pay their fans for generations. That's why they, they um started selling off the uh, the masters and stuff. You be seeing that now for millions upon <laughs> millions. Like and. Mem- Beyonce with the homecoming, you know, mm-hmm. I for, I forgot how much she had to give up of that song. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like people be taking forty percent of off a song that you know these new artists reinvent or do a um, a cover to kind of shit. Right? You know, like how she really went through it. And like who who wrote that song? The you made me happy. Um. Wow. I like every yeah. time I heard the song, I thought about the person, but I can't think of them. Um, Frankie Beverly. Yeah, uh, there we go. Yeah, 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 like, yeah. You know, amazing. They, yeah. they yeah. still Frank make money yeah. off of that. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Every time that song that just got recreated gets paid, yep. you know. Whereas the real estate and shit like that, niggas got to pay taxes every month. They got to p- do repairs on that bitch. Mm-hmm. Like you know, like that's a lot of money going out. Depending upon how many houses you make, and then there's a cap on it. Yep, there, you can't overcharge for a house. There's no cap on how many people might listen to your song. Right. If you go to jail tomorrow, more people are going to listen to your song. Facts. That's sad. <laughs> like, it's, it's true. It's like, very sad, but it's true. Like, it, it's crazy. So, for me, it's just like, I want to remind artists that art is an asset. And it's like, don't ever let anybody tell you it's not because they make money off our art. Our, 100%. You know, they make billions off of art. They make billions off of art. And artists get like a fraction of that price, man. Exactly. They buy your art for a fraction of the price, like you're saying, and mm-hmm. flip it. It's just like a product. Yep. The artists are products, and art is a product that is is really, you know, flipped. You know, so mm-hmm. it's it's just like drugs. It's just like fucking shopping at Alibaba, whatever whatever it is. Like, you know, bro, it, it's facts, bro. <laughs> No, I was just thinking the name Alibaba. Like, where did it start? Alibaba? What's that? Bro, fucking Fashion Nova, all these fucking boutique girls, all them. Bro, they go get that shit from overseas off of Alibaba. That shit come over here. Yo, I have to look this up now because I've never heard of this place. Bro, type in Alibaba on your thing. My shit's like 1%, but I'm going to do that. I'm going to do it later for sure. Meek eyelashes and shit that we just found found on the floor (laughs) in this bitch. Like, they go buy that hoe for fucking... Um, seventy five cent, a dollar fifty, or Yo, whatever. Just flip it, man. And flip that shit for eight dollars, five dollars a case. It's you crazy. know, whereas what's their markup on that? Mm-hmm. You know, right? It, yeah, man. Get a product and flip it. Keep your keep your costs as low as possible. And own yours, own yours, own your masters, right. own your rights, all that shit. Read the fine print. All do that. it yourself and just yeah, take man. your time. Pretty much, take your time to do it yourself. Yeah, man, that's it's very important, especially now, especially like for our culture and us. Because if not, again, we you start letting other people dictate like what is like for us, mm-hmm. and right. they don't know what's best for us. Like they just don't. So, but damn. Yeah. What's it? But okay, man, this is a great interview, dog. Um, again, tell everybody. Just I know you got a lot of stuff coming up, but tell everybody everything y'all got coming up. Make sure they say check that out. Um, make sure y'all give them the socials so they can follow y'all and all that good stuff. And yeah, shit around the table. Yeah, shit. Yeah, you know it's it's Baby Lane on Instagram. It's at FSB Lane. Go follow me. Go check out my my latest work. Links in the bio. My man Wise. Yeah. So Instagram at the Wise Network. You can find us over there. That's where we got all the. Nice stuff for y'all to look at. Um, YouTube, wise visuals, that's just type it in. Everything that I do, it'll pop up. You'll see just all the natural artistic stuff that we're doing out there. Go do that. Um, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, and we got movies going the way. 
right? So. <laughs> <laughs> That's a fact. Definitely, bro. Um, definitely go get that. Um, what is it? Lucid, Lucid, Lucid Living. Yeah. That drops tomorrow, Wednesday, December 9th. Just go support that. That's $5 on Patreon. It's only $5. Just get it, support it, so we can make more content. You know, um, then we also got, you know, the mixology book and we got the cookbook dropping later on in the month. If you're interested in the merch, just hit us up. DM, I also got the link in bio on my personal page. Um, a hippie named Gage. If you're interested in the chef stuff I got going on, you can also check me out at um, Chef Gage. Other than that, it's the Wise Network. Mm -hmm. um, if you guys need any commercials, video shot, movie shot, whatever you guys may need, we're, we're looking to work, get some production done. So just hit us up, and yeah, let's work. Real quick, um, who's everybody's top artist, like favorite artist right now? Damn, right now? Yeah. I'm liking Gazelda. Gazelda? Gazelda. Yeah. The gang? Yeah. I'm going to just say the, the whole gang. Nah, I feel you. They're like, they, that's like one thing. I feel you. I, that's pumping right now. Uh, I'm going I'm to I'm say what I've always said, Currency. Right. You know, he's the most... Most consistent artist out right now. I feel that. I feel that. Yeah. Hell yeah. Ah oh, man. Um, music wise, I mm. Mm. but like gravy. <laughs> <laughs> I can only say myself because I don't just be jamming people. Mm -hmm. I have been like this for years. I don't even know who the fuck is new or who is doing shit. So I just jam my own instrumentals and old old songs and stuff. Really. Yeah, instrumentals. Bro, yeah, bro, I do. Facts. I do a lot, bro. bro like, all, we gotta have hey, a whole other episode for this every, shit. Every every video, <laughs> like at the end of the episode, you talking about? Oh, I got instrumentals and I made music. <laughs> and and he ain't even tell me or nothing. <laughs> every video that we've ever put out. He made the instrumental? Instrumentals. Everything this is... This nigga. All right, whatever. No, no, it's not. No we, nothing, the bro. Done. We on it all. Done. It's done. The we done. on it all from <laughs> start no, that's to another finish. One. <laughs> that's another one. Like, once we get rid of Patreon, like, literally, you just be coming to us, getting our product that we created from fucking start to finish. Like... I feel it, man. The man's crazy talented. Hey, man, fuck these niggas, man. We got uh, creators, individual talent here, like, just... Own individuals, bro. The price Can't goes up every month. Just hey. every month. Every month. Hey, you know what I mean? But yet again, thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share with a friend. Tell your mom and your daddy, uncle, uncle, cousin, all them niggas, whatever. Um, support a local black business. Support a Definitely. local hood business. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> whatever that may be. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. But you know, so like just circulate the money inside the hood. Two keep singles it. a day. Keep the doctor away. Hey, you know what I mean? But don't forget, uh, stay consistent with your vision because you're blessed with another day to mission. Thanks for tuning in. We are the Common Interest. We'll catch you next time. Peace. Peace. Definitely. Mm -hmm.